Hi everybody, this is Yusuf and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make another Persian dish called Megu Polo, which is a shrimp with a rice. And this food is belonging to the south part of Iran. Most of the city there, they're making uh, this kind of food, but they have a, their own version of it. So the only thing is different, it might be the spices and the herbs that they including this food. The one, the particular one that I'm making it, it's coming from my wife and that's her recipe, which it comes from her family. And we are going to go over the ingredients and start making it. We start with the rice. I have four cups of rice, which I already washed it, clean it, and it's ready to cook. I have two pounds of a shrimp. It's a little bit bigger than what's supposed to be, it's, but it's a, I, I clean that and divine and is ready to be cooked. Then I have about one and a quarter of cups uh, raisin. I have uh, one small bunch of cilantro, is cleaned, washed, and ready to be chopped. I have spices here, which is about one teaspoon cinnamon, one and a half tablespoon of curry, and one and a half uh, teaspoon of cumin, one and a half teaspoon turmeric, one uh, small spoon, which is a teaspoon that uh, uh, red pepper, one teaspoon black pepper, and one teaspoon uh, salt, which is a sea salt. And uh, also I have some cooking oil to cook the shrimps and the onion. Two onions, which is gonna be chopped and uh, two uh, potato, these are going to be for rice on the bottom of the pot, pan, and some liquid saffron, which is, uh, I'm going to use it for both shrimp and a rice, because, you know, as I said, you know, this part of south of Iran, they make it hot, and we also going to use one of these uh, pepper and uh, half a, Le uh, lemon lime juice so we start by chopping the onion and we're going to saute that and then we go from there and at the same time I might be cooking the rice because you know when the rice is done then we have to just pour them over the rice so uh, we don't have to wait for one another if it just make it at the same time it's going to be much better and more convenience for you. Chop this finely. Okay, we're going to start by sauteing this onion. I put the, about the three, four spoon of oil in there already. I guess it's uh, hot enough to add this. Soon as it's translucent and it start changing the color we are going to add the uh, turmeric first then the rest of the, the spices at the same time I have a water here already and it's kind of uh, ready for just put the rice in it the water should be about one uh, actually two and a half a liter water to cover this and uh, we're cooking it half away, then we drain the excess water. We also add some salt on this one. And this is not too much because we, as I said, we're gonna drain and wash it, but it keeps the uh, rice intact and giving it a long gray. All right, it looks as a time to add the uh, uh, turmeric because it's been uh, turned the color, you know, it's a, you don't want to burn the onion. So
Okay, uh, it's a time to add the rest of the spices, except the cinnamon that's going to be almost very end. So this is a curry powder, cumin, and salt, and a red and black pepper. And also is the time to the drain as the rice. And I'm gonna wash that with the cold water to get the excess salt out of it okay I'm gonna slice the potato for the bottom of the pan which uh, add the rice on the top of and it's gonna come up very nice all right this is a mixture of the uh, four or five tablespoon oil and uh, about the same amount of water and heat it up with the saffron and is ready to put the rice back into the pan okay we are going to do that right now so I sliced these I'm gonna just put it in the bottom nicely cover okay I have some extra I just put it in by the wall all right now putting the rice back to the pot you put it very loosely all right we we should make a few holes into this because we want to get breathing and the steam comes out to make it cook very well. Back to the fire. All right, gonna put it here for about like a five six minutes with the high heat then as soon as the start the uh, uh, steams comes out then we're going to put some a uh, cloth kitchen cloth with the lid and reduce the heat for maybe 40 minutes and it's going to be done all right it's been a couple of minutes that we are sauteing this onion with all the spices most of the spices, I'm adding that uh, serrano chili here because we like to be hot. Now also it's a time to add raisin. Yeah, when you put the raisin you have to be very careful and just toss it around because it burns so quick and fast. So we don't want to do that. All right. Now, at the same time, just a 30 second later, we're gonna add our shrimps. Shrimps cooks very fast, so make sure it's not going to be overcooked because otherwise it's going to be hard and chewy which we don't want that happen so be careful and make sure it's about like a three to five minutes is going to do the deal all right it's uh it almost our food is done because uh the shrimp is cooked and I just put a little bit of the lime juice and 
and the last part is our cinnamon and uh, saffron look at the colors beautiful beautiful Now what I'm going to do right now, turn off the heat and put it aside because this is done. Alright, as you see the steam is all over so it's the time to just uh, put the kitchen cloth and just reduce the heat. About uh, 30 to 35 more minutes is going to be done. Okay guys, uh, the foods are ready because the rice is done and uh, it's ready to be taken to the uh, plate. And this uh, shrimp, I'm gonna heat it as I said because you had to wait till the rice been done. I'm gonna uh, turn it on and put it on the heat for uh, maybe one, two, three minutes to get warm again. And uh, meanwhile, I'm going to chop our cilantro for the garnishment and I put it on the top. It's not for everybody, but if you like it, you can do that. All right, now let's uh, chop our cilantro. All right, it, as soon as it gets like a half away, you're going to put the some of those shrimp in the rice and we go from there i guess it's a this is a good time to put some of them Okay, and uh, also some of this saffron. And put a little bit more rice over it. This is going to be one of the best tasty shrimp rice ever. All right, our, our food is done and ready to serve. And as you see, it looks beautiful, beautiful. So for the garnishment, some people, they like to you know, spring a little bit of the uh, cilantro, just like this, makes it a little bit colorful also, beside the taste. and. Uh, this is something optional and you don't have to do it. But I uh, just want to show you how it could be served to be looking nice and beautiful. All right, guys, uh, we are uh, done with the nice, wonderful food. And uh, I thank you like always for watching my video. And uh, I want you to just let the friend knows about it. And if you are a first time, subscribe to get all my videos and share it with your friends. Until next time, thank you again and bye.